What up, what up, what up, what up, everybody? What up, welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. First of all, I'm glad to have you all here with me, all right? Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And make sure, okay, that you hit that like button on this video as you guys come in here, all right? We got a few things that we must talk about, but before we do any of that, you guys already know the drill. Make sure you get your goalies while you have the opportunity. Stay up on top of your health as well. Join our Patreon for exclusive content as well as members only. And of course, if you would like to show love to the channel, you are more than welcome to do so. Um, it is going to be in the description box of this video, and it will also be on the or in the chat as well. All right. So let's get into a couple of things here. Yeah, okay, let's get into a couple of things. All right, all right, all right, everybody. Let's get into the Ike Turner Jr. of it all. Now, this is coming, unfortunately, off the heels of the unfortunate passing of uh, Tina Turner, but I want to make sure that we do talk about this and we get into it, okay? So this is in regards to Ike Jr., okay? Um, and this is what it has to say. Debra's get into this story. Tina Turner's son, Ike Turner Jr., was arrested and charged with possession of, you know, the CC and allegedly tampering with the evidence, child. Now, Ike Jr., 64, was sentenced to jail just 18 days before the passing of his mother. Now, Texas police pulled Ike Jr. over in a white 2013 Ford Fusion at a traffic light after discovering an equipment violation in his vehicle. Now, Ike, what you doing driving a 2013 Ford Fusion? But you know, no judgment. Up on his traffic stop, Police sees 1.7 grams of CC and 0.7 grams of, you guys can see the word there. Now, police initially searched the vehicle after noticing that Ike Jr. trying to consume the narcotics in his possession. Now, if you recall, his, uh, his father, Ike Turner, served an 18-month sentence in prison uh, for uh, CC possession in 1989. He later died from a CC overdose in 2007 at the age of 76. Now, a statement um, Ike Jr.'s attorney has not given. However, an outstanding warrant report, uh, uh, an outstanding warrant unrelated to this current charge has been noted on his incident report. So they're basically saying that um, with the whole issue that he had going on, he got some other legal things going on. But it just goes to show you that, listen, life be life and life can catch up with you no matter who you are. You can have it one day, not have it the next day. So we really have to be appreciative of life and just being able to breathe uh, life because this is this is something else. Um Listen, I, 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 Turner Jr., I hope you get it together, child. I really do, considering how your mother, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, not your mother, but considering how your father left this earth, I would really, really, really hope that, that, that we figure that out soon because my God today. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this, child. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, we are going to get into the Tia Maori and, of course, Har uh, Corey Hardwick of it all, okay? So, let's go ahead and jump into this story. All right. So, in case if you guys did not know Tia and um, her uh, ex-husband, okay, Corey, all right, let's get into this. They, of course, have gotten a divorce, and so we want to get into it. Um, so let's go. Now it says that it is headlined. Shout out to the neighborhood talk again. Tia Mallory will pay zero dollars in spousal and child support after settling divorce with ex-husband Corey Hardwick. Let's get into it. 
So it goes on to say the neighbors, it looks like Tia Mallory will have uh, to pay absolutely nothing in spousal and child support after settling her divorce with Corey Hardwick. Now, if you remember, we previously reported that the couple split after Tia announced on her Instagram that a couple would, that the couple will be going their separate ways. Now, according to new, new legal documents obtained by the blast, the two agreed on a settlement that allows both parties to split expenses and costs for their children evenly. Now, this would be the opposite of one party being ordered to make payments um, to the children. And it also goes on to say that it's important to note that um, Hardick didn't ask for any, any support. Now, Mallory and Hardick will also share joint and physical custody of the children as well. In addition to no payments, Mallory will get uh, a full ownership of their $4.3 million home. Aside from assets, both parties are um, restrained from uh, bringing new partners around the children until they surpass a six-month relationship with the partner. Okay. So I think that that's fair, right? That's fair. I, again, we're not in their marriage to know exactly what the ins and the outs are. But I think that that's pretty fair. Neither one of them have to pay anything. They have agreed to settle this down the middle. Now, listen, divorce like this, first of all, no one wants to hear about a divorce. But a divorce like this where we really don't have no beef. We really don't have no beef. We just try to make it and get through it. I'm here for this. I'm 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 here for this respectfully. I mean, you can't do anything but respect the fact that they are not, you know, uh, uh doing all the bashing in the media and all of this kind of stuff. It's just not happening. So I salute them in um do, handling their divorce this particular way that they are handling it. Shout out to them. Listen, child, we got to get into the Jocelyn. Hernandez of it all. Listen, one of the things that I'm going to say even before I get ready to get into this, listen, one thing that I will say for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, is that there were apps that there was absolutely no accountability whatsoever. So shout out to the neighborhood talk for this. But as you know, that um, Jocelyn appeared on the Breakfast Club. And this is what she had to say about the big Lex uh, altercation. No accountability whatsoever. But I want you guys to be able to judge. We're just going to listen to the audio and let's go. There's really not too much that I could talk on that. But I will, gotcha. you know, I because, you know, I, you know, I was gone, girl. I was in Lauderdale, Broward County. I was yeah. cold, came out with a coughing, everything. Girl, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> She's like, they left me here for two days. And I'm sitting up here sick as a dog. Why yeah. me? Yeah. Why me? Yeah. So I can't really speak too much on that. But what you. but what I can say is that I'm I'm gonna always uh put uh pro uh how do you say it? Protect. Yes, me. If you see me out here in the streets when you know you two in, in the world, America, whoever mm -hmm. knows me know yeah. where I come from and what I've done and how I've changed, mm -hmm. you know I'm just making sure that I'm straight and and, and no one hurts me. Yeah. You know, so, you know, the media only show you one thing. It looks yeah. like a whole lot of chaos, yeah. but you might not know what happened prior to mm -hmm. that chaos, mm -hmm. like five seconds before right. or 10 seconds before. Right. You just see like the rah, rah. And because it's me, it's always so much bigger than what it actually is. Yeah. Now, I got to ask you, uh, Big Lexi. Don't know that hoe. Okay. Period. All right. So you guys heard that. Here's my thoughts on this. Girl, I want you to stop pretending like you we're not doing anything. And a lot of y'all stated that you can't call somebody out and then not a, expect to get your butt whooped, blah, blah, blah. Let's be completely honest. Even if Big Lex did call Jocelyn out, everything that happened at, at that fight in regards to the both of them was unfair, okay? Because you don't get to come, and because I got beef with you, you get to come jump me. Yo, your nigga get to raise his voice at me and all of this kind of stuff. That's not what this is about. This is about me and you directly. This ain't about, about other people around. You decided to let your crew jump me, do all of this kind of stuff because you didn't stop them. So here's my thing. The accountability piece is missing here. And until Jocelyn Hernandez is able to take accountability for her actions, 
she's going to always be into something with somebody because you you didn't take no accountability. You said, oh, yeah, people see me all oh, rah, rah, and they don't know what it took to get to that moment. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The moment happened, right? And the moment happened, and you must address the moment that happened. Stop playing with us. I don't like people who do stuff like this. Girl, you you just need to take full accountability. Say, listen, we shouldn't have acted. And I get it. You probably can't say it because of the legal ramifications around it. But listen, we did something that we shouldn't have done. We done it at a place that we shouldn't have done it at. Just take some type of accountability. Jocelyn decides not to take any type of accountability. And it does rub me the entire wrong way. However, um, girl, just don't say nothing about it at all, at all. Just be quiet, cause you, 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 you just doing the most. Anywho, I am moving on, child. I have nothing else for the Puerto Rican. What's she supposed to be? Puerto Rican princess and child, whatever. Listen, listen, listen. So I want to get into Columbus Short real quick. No, guys, Columbus Short is not in a whole lot of trouble right now. But we do know Columbus Short to be one of those individuals that is constantly in trouble. He made headlines several times last year. One of those times being Columbus uh, Short arrested again for felony DV. Columbus Short officially charged in DV case. Columbus Short sends love to Britney Spears on her wedding day. Columbus Short's DV case dropped. Okay. Columbus Short's neighbor gets restraining order against him. Listen. One of the things that I wanted to say when it came to Columbus Short, Columbus Short to me is like one of those situations like, like Trey Songs, like uh, what, what's that other man name? Because here's the thing. All the allegations that we've consistently seen um, in regards to uh, in regards to this, it just it just makes it all the more like mm, I want to side out. Okay, so I want to get into this article that was posted last year in regards to Columbus Short, right? So this was off of the heels of the DV allegation and a couple of other things. Now, the case has been dismissed, right? Now, Columbus was arrested back in February after cops were called to his home over an argument that he had with his wife that allegedly that allegedly got physical. Now, he was charged with two misdemeanors, but those charges were later dismissed. Now, uh, Columbus told us later on that they were dismissed. They dismissed the case from what I was told because the prosecutor felt there was no wrongdoing. OK, you know. He does still have cases and stuff over his head, okay? And I want to be very clear about that. Um, Columbus Short is just one of those people where I'm... I don't know when it comes to Columbus Short. I, I feel a couple different ways, right? Not okay and nothing that he's doing. Not okay, nothing that he's done. If these are DV allegations, if they're true or anything of that sort. But what I wanted to show you guys was just something that Columbus Short was doing where he was out and he's performing. Listen, shout out to Columbus Short for being out here doing his thing. Listen, I don't, I, again, these are all allegations that are made, right? These are all allegations. He's never been charged with anything, not to dismiss anybody, but these cases, these DV cases were dismissed. So here's my thing when it comes to Columbus Short. Listen, why you can't live your life, all right? If you are not what they are putting on your name, Try to live a great life, okay? Try to block out all of the noise. And it looks like that's what he's doing. So I kind of wanted to bring this up because, you know, we are in a time and in a culture where people want to just let people go by the wayside. But in this particular situation, I just, again, um, I say just keep doing you. 
just keep doing you, keep doing what you're doing. I, I'm, I'm, you know, and, and here's the thing also, too. Here's the thing also, too. Like, just reading some of the comments, it, it is very interesting to see how people are reacting to this. Um, but, child. I, again, I, you know, it's mixed feelings. It's mixed feelings. My personal opinion about this, do I go, uh, I don't support any DV. I don't support that type of stuff. Um, but also, too, if there has not been, like, you know, it, it's just been allegations. There hasn't been any type of uh, hard charges or anything brought against him um, in regards to that. Then I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the fact that you have to live your life and try to um quiet out the outside noise right but if it is some truth to doing that um i i pray that you get the help and whoever may be in that situation get the help that they actually need that's kind of what i have to say about this this is probably one of those situations that i'm really on the fence with and you see the the picture that they have here where it says that he was blackballed so you know i i feel like again it takes a minute to get your career back on the up, up and up. But y'all, honestly, this would have to be a situation I would have to say I'm on the fence about because I do feel different ways about different angles of what, what has taken place with Columbus Short. But I do want to um, just know what you guys think about that. It is going to be interesting to get you guys' take on that. So please make sure you drop down in the comment section and let me know exactly how you feel about the Columbus Short situation all right y'all all right all right all right i wanted to bring you guys those four uh topics just here really quick and get your thoughts um on those all right i hope you guys are enjoying your thursday your friday eve enjoy more 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 please make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you bang that notification bell make sure you hit that like button and I will catch you guys in the next video. And thank you so much for watching.